get started. Uh, for all of you, hopefully we've got a lot of juniors that are here, junior parents as well. Uh, anyone else who's joining us today, uh, if I don't have the pleasure of knowing you, I am Ed Roth. I'm the principal of the main campus of the Norristown Area High School. Uh, happy to be with you today. And joining me today is Dr. Queenan, the principal of the Roosevelt campus of the Norristown Area High School. Hopefully joining us a bit later uh, will be Mr. Dormer, our superintendent, and Dr. Williams, our assistant superintendent. Uh, they are uh, trying to pull double duty here as they continue running the school district. Uh, Dr. McGriff, your assistant principal, is uh, going to lay out uh, the bulk of our presentation. Ms. Mitchell from our College and Career Center is going to give you some information later as well. And the one and only Mr. Schmalbach uh, will be joining us too. So, Again, I thank each of you for joining us. And, and let me just start by saying that uh, I can only imagine how difficult this whole situation is. Uh, you know, when you are 16, 17 years old, you're in your junior year of high school. The work that you get from your teachers, even in normal circumstances, can be difficult. You know, junior year is really a make or break year. And uh, I can't imagine going through the last quarter or last third of your junior year at home and feeling at times like you're on your own. And I think if there's one message that we really want to send to all of you right now, it's that even though sometimes you feel like you're on your own, you're not. Um, there is a great talented team of teachers, counselors, um, our, you know, our secretaries, our administrators, you name it, everyone that helps you in that building on Eagle Drive uh, is still wanting to help you now. Uh, you know, we just have to continue to find ways to connect with each other. Uh, also thinking about junior year, uh, I'm sure this will be touched on later, but my biggest concern for you as juniors is to make sure that you're taking advantage of the opportunities that this situation gives. As we know, being at home is really changing the game, not just for us, but for high school juniors all across the country. And so whether you are looking at using your transcript down the road for college acceptance or for getting a job or whatever it may be, your grades really need to stand out because you're losing opportunities like taking the SATs uh, that I know many of you are planning to do this, this spring. Uh, and just like our grading looks a little different right now, Every other school around us is grading differently, too. So when you're competing with those young men and women at other schools, your grades need to be really high because they're also being graded for completion. They're also being you know, given flexibility and allowed to turn in late work. And those of you who take advantage of that, your GPA should all get a boost. Uh, but if you don't take advantage of that, that would hurt you normally. It's really going to hurt you now. So I really want to make sure that you are... Uh, you know, digging in, engaging with the work. And when it feels like it's too hard, when you feel like you're lost, if you feel like you're supposed to know what you're doing, but you don't, uh, chances are you're not the only one. So please give us a call, shoot us an email, let us know. Uh, all we want to do is help. And the last thing that I will say is that while it's a little bit easy for you guys to get the, you're the leaders of the school now speech, I want you to start thinking that way. Um, you guys will be seniors when we come back to school. It will be your school to run for the next 10 months. And I say that to you now because I'm sure that you know of uh, sophomores, of freshmen, and even eighth graders who maybe uh, are struggling with this as well, or maybe they are disengaged from school. Our school is going to be a much better place the more that we can maintain uh, engagement in school. And that means everyone is going to be in that building next year. So uh, if you have those friends that maybe they've fallen off, I understand. I get it. There's days where I want to sleep until noon. Uh, I can't do that because my kids, but I would if I could maybe. Uh, so I understand the temptation. And I understand that it's easy to put off work when you don't have to actually face your teacher that day to say, I didn't do it. Uh, but catch yourself and catch your friends and have them catch you. Uh, because we'll be a better school for it in the fall. So with that, uh, I just want to turn it over to Dr. Queenan, uh, my great teammate from the Roosevelt campus. Thank you, Mr. Roth. Good afternoon, juniors. I miss you and I believe in you. In addition to being the principal of the Roosevelt campus, I'm also a proud graduate of the Norristown Area High School. 
I realize that this year has not, you know, is not ending the way any of us envisioned it, but you are eagles. We support you and we're all in this together. To encourage you, I'd like to quickly share a quote from Confucius. That's the English teacher in me. If you are positive, you'll see opportunities instead of obstacles. So keep your head up, juniors, and stay strong. Is Mr. Dormer on the call? Don't know if he has joined us. I think they're still tied up with something an admin, Mr. Dormer and Dr. Williams. So okay. we can't do it often, but we can skip our bosses right now, Dr. Queen. <laughs> okay. So I will turn it over to the capable hands of Dr. McGriff. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome class of 2021. Um, as you know, we've had multiple meetings where we've really talked about how this, the junior year, is really a huge year uh, in your high school career. Um, we've talked about really all the different things that we would normally um, have anticipated, meaning like the state testing and the SATs and uh, starting to go to your first um, you know, junior proms and all those things. And even though some of those or many of those events have not happened, the reality is, is that you still are in this wonderful moment of growing and maturing. And so with that, I want to go ahead and keep in mind that the process continues. So I remind, remind you to please stay strong. Now, um, when we look at things like this, really, it's a threefold um, kind of perspective. What... Um, and on 312 2020, the day of um, our lives changed. Um, what happened? So what? And now what? Now we looked at what happened. Um, we are really in unprecedented times, young ladies and gentlemen. Um, the reality is, is that many of us have been in education most all our lives um, and have never seen anything like this before. And so with that, um, what's happening is now your leaders and uh, teachers and administrators all are not only working off of the things that we've done in the past, but now having to go ahead and reframe, restructure, and redo a lot of those different things for this new normal that we are now part of. Um, as a result, one example of this new normal is distance learning via online instruction. And uh, your teachers are now going ahead and moving forward with trying to get a lot of different things um, installed. And I know some of this may be overwhelming, but I encourage you to go ahead and stay focused because this is now going to be a modality that you not only will use today, but many tomorrows. Um, so with that, now what is we're here to support you both academically, socially and emotionally. We want you to go ahead and realize that even though the building structure is not there, the relationships and the emotional structure that we've all formed over the years is still there. And so please do not hesitate to call upon your administrators, teachers, counselors, and all other staff that are part of the Norristown Area High School to go ahead and get you through this really unique time. A couple of notes. First and foremost, we went and we put out a, a, a guide that on May 1st, the third marking period work should be turned in. So if you have any assignments that you need to make up in the third quarter, please have that May 1st as your deadline kind of in your mind. So that way we can try to bring closure and make sure that you get the best showing that you can. Have. Then on May 7th and 8th, um, that's uh, in a couple of weeks, we actually will go ahead and not so much suspend the additional work, but make those makeup work days. So we're trying to go ahead and give students an opportunity to catch up on maybe a couple items that they had not completed. So that way on May 8th, when it's the mid marks, that you'll have ample time to go ahead and really have the best showing for your grades. A couple other things. Um, your teachers have been giving guidance and they should be providing you with lessons um, that will make up of the course of the week, but sometimes they may come as individual lessons and sometimes they may come as larger lessons at a minimum too. And so with that, um, the teachers are trying their best to go ahead and give you the information that you can use to go and move through your learning. Now, if you give your best effort and complete the work, you can earn 100%. 
So we are not grading based upon, um, you know, correct or incorrect answers, but really just showing good faith effort in completing the work. Another very important point. Um, if you go ahead and look at this final grade calculation, you will see a lot of different things that you're familiar with. Marking period one, two, three, and four, with numbers associated with them are 22%. And then a midterm exam, that is worth 12%. But one thing students say you will not see is a final exam. That is right. There will be no final exams this year. And as a result, your midterm exam has a higher percentage and your marking period um, quarters also have additional change percentages. So with that, no final exam. So now that makes the work that you do for marking period three and four that much more important. Finally, because we have this new classroom, the virtual classroom that's online, sometimes our classroom needs to go ahead and be adjusted or needs assistance. So we have our NSD um, technology help desk. You can actually get to the help desk a couple different ways. First and foremost, you can go ahead and get there through a phone number, just giving them a call. They're open between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. each day, and they have people that can go ahead and speak to you in English and in Spanish. However, if you um, do not need to use a phone and you have a, a computer available, then you can go to the IT help desk, which is through your class link. And using that help desk, you can go ahead and make requests. All right. So um, bottom line, we're working with all stakeholders to figure out how to how to go ahead and bring a solid close to the school year. So please just go ahead and make sure you look at the daily information. Um, from Mr. Roth, he, has, he sends out his daily um, activities and, and daily uh, announcements and use that to go ahead and guide on your days and weeks that are to come. At this point in time, I would like to go ahead and turn over the conversation to Miss Mitchell. Hello, juniors. Nice talking to you guys again. I've been dropping some videos and emails to you guys, and I just want you to make sure that you know that we are not going to let you fail. So I've mentioned this to you a couple of different times. With everything that's going on with the college planning process and cancellations and things of that nature, all the colleges and high schools are all in, in SAT and ACT are all working together to make sure that you guys are taken care of in the fall. And so with that being said, is a student's market. The, the colleges are bending over backwards to make sure that they get you on their campuses and that they find different ways to connect with you. So please don't stress over taking the SAT or ACT later, your transcripts. I promise you, you will not be going to the University of Kentucky Fried Chicken. We will get you into some nice colleges. OK, so we will not let you fail. So I wanted to talk to you guys very briefly about um, some college and career updates. I have a Google Doc that I put together because instead of disseminating, disseminating all this information on different pages, um, I have a link. So I sent it to Mr. Roth. He sent it to you guys this morning. It's also going to be posted on Schoology, Instagram, and a couple of different places. It will be a running list of any information that I get from colleges, emails, or people regarding any updates. So you can always go on that link and it's updated every single day. You want to make sure that you pay attention to any virtual tours that colleges have. They have them every day. If you go on Bloomsburg, every single day at 10 o'clock, they have an admissions presentation. Kutztown does a live every single day. And all other colleges are doing something similar. So you want to make sure that you engage so that you can see what's going on on these campuses. Um, the SAT, uh, all of the SATs for the spring were canceled, so they're working to add another test to the fall. So September the 26th has been added. So there will be one in August, September, October, November, and December. So they will give you guys some updates. Um, and on that link that I told you about, the preference will be given to students that have already registered for tests and specifically students who have never taken a test. So you guys don't need to stress about that. Your transcripts will give you more updates about your transcripts and how those are going to be handled. But in most cases, uh, we're going to put some kind of a note on what's called the, the profile that we send out to colleges to let them know in, information about our school. And we will note how we did final grades on that profile. And then lastly, we have some things for you guys. So starting next Monday, we will have our conference called the Quarantine Chats. 
And so it's going to be for students in every grade, but most of the information will definitely focus on juniors. So on Monday, we'll have Money Grant Monday. We have some financial aid experts coming in. We have Ron Felder from FIA. He's the person that covers the entire Philadelphia territory. He's going to be talking to you guys. We're going to have some people coming in about scholarships and how to read your financial aid letters. On Wednesdays, we're going to have Work and Career Wednesdays. So we have Mr. Hakeem Jones is going to be coming one day to talk to you guys about opportunities for work. We have Sar Gunny Sergeant Little from uh, the Marines who's going to be talking to you guys and some other people. And on Thursdays, we haven't figured out what cute title to put on Thursday, but we have a lot of college admissions officers who will be coming to talk to you guys. So we have Lebanon Valley, coming, we have Immaculata coming in, and we also have someone from Huntington Learning Center to talk to you guys about ACTs and SATs. So I will post something, a, a, a little teaser for you guys today on Instagram, and I'll send it via the email. So other than that, guys, just make sure you reach out to me. Um, reach out to your counselors. We got your back. We're not going to let you guys fail. All right. So now we're going to turn this over, I believe, to Mr. Smallbach. That is correct. Thank you, Ms. Mitchell. Um, I'm here just to talk to you juniors very briefly about a couple of things. One, um, our yearbook or spice book for 2020 is done and has been sent to the printers. It was a little more difficult to get done this year than in past years, but like it has for the last 124 years, it will be here in June. If you are interested in purchasing a copy, um, you need to make sure that you get that done today. Um, Mr. Roth had included in his daily email the link for that. It's also on the uh, high school's website on the district website. Um, if you are unable to purchase it today, but would like to purchase one and could within the next week or so, you can shoot him or I an email to let us know that this will help us determine our final numbers for printing. Um, the second thing is a housekeeping thing. Uh, everybody, for the most part, has something that is checked out, a book, a textbook, a library book. I will be sending out notices to your school email to just let you know what things you have out on your account. Um, there, at some point, materials returns will be done. We're not sure how that'll look yet, but this way you can at least get an idea of what's there, look around your room, see if you find anything that you're not sure where it is. If you have a problem with something, you can respond to that uh, email notice and let me know and we can work together to get those things resolved. And the last thing I want to say is, much like Dr. Queen and I am also an alum of the high school, um, and I always look towards our long history um, in many different situations, and this one's no different. Our first graduating class was 1862 in the middle of the Civil War. Our school's been here through two world wars, through the pandemic flu of 1918, through the Great Depression, and now through the situation we're facing here. And you guys will be Narstown strong, and we will all get through this together. And thank you, and now back to Dr. McGriff. Thank you, appreciate it, Mr. Smallbach. And so just to go ahead and dovetail off of that, just remember kids, you are braver than you believe and stronger and smarter than you think. Now with that, I wanna go ahead and turn this over to Ms. Dunstan, who has something special to share with you. Well, good afternoon, class of 2021. I want to leave you with some food for thought. Uh, it's a poem entitled, I'm going to start the poem, uh, You May Never Fall. You may see me struggle, but you won't see me fall. Regardless if I'm weak or not, I'm going to stand tall. Everyone says life is easy, but truly living, it is not. Times get hard, people struggle, and constantly get put on the spot. I'm going to wear the biggest smile, even though I want to cry. I'm going to fight to live, even though I'm destined to die. And even though it's hard, and I may struggle through it all, you may see me struggle, but you will never see me fall. Remember, eagles are fearless. Eagles have vision. Eagles are tenacious. And eagles are strong. Stay strong. At this point in time, Mr. Roth will bring us to a close. So first, uh, I thank everyone who you know logged in or, or if you're watching a recorded version of this after the fact, um, you know, just thank you for your continued engagement. Uh, I'm so absolutely thrilled at the 
Uh, I mean, we, we're almost at 100 percent of our students are logging in with us every week, uh, you know, to engage in schoolwork. Don't forget to turn that work in and don't forget to ask for help. And uh, more than anything else, don't forget that, you know, we miss you um, and that you're loved. You know, you guys are a part of our family. Um, I can tell you every single one of us in every meeting we are in at some point, there is somebody saying how much they really miss having you in their classes, in the hallways, in the cafeteria, in our offices. Um, so we really look forward to getting you back next year. And we know that we're going to be in good hands when we do come back next year because we've got an amazing group getting ready to take over as seniors next year. Let us know how we can help you now. Let us know if there are questions that you guys have, uh, even if it's questions that your families have of resources to, to access. We can help you get those answers, and we want to help you get those answers. Stay safe. Engage in your schoolwork. Try to find some ways to have a little fun, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Nobody's dismissed until I dismiss your section, and when I do dismiss your section, you have four minutes to get to class. If not, you have detention. Take care.